So my grandpa got me this mug, and uh, when he got it for me, he's like, oh, it has Ariel on it. Because, like, you're Ariel. Haha, <laughs> so funny. And I'm like, Grandpa, this is Tinkerbell. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, how are you? So this summer, just this past summer, I've been to three weddings, which is ridiculous. Two of which were people my age. So very young 20-somethings. And they were people that I went to school with. So it's pretty crazy how people are getting married so young. They have just decided that they have found the person they want to spend the rest of their life with, which is insane to me. I wish every happiness to the people that got married who I'm friends with, but I'm just saying for me, every time I think of like marrying a person or like picking one person to live the rest of your life with and never get tired of, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. So um, <laughs> when I was talking to some of my friends about dating in college, like this topic, I was talking to my friend Andrea and she told me that she has a hard time picking the right lipstick to wear every day, let alone the man that you want to spend every day of your life with. And I'm like, that's great. That's, <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys some tips on like dating in college. These are just some things that I, from my personal experience, with dating in college or like being involved with guys in college, the kind of things that I've learned. So just to give a background info on me, I dated a guy for three years. We started dating my senior year of high school and then we kept the long distance relationship thing going um, the first two years of college for me. That was the longest relationship I've ever had. Before then, I think it was five months was the longest one. And like three years is a long time to be with somebody, you know? So we got to college, um, I realized it, like it wasn't for me. I was kind of like, done with it, I guess. It ended up not working out, and so we broke up. And after that, um, I learned a lot about dating in college and a lot about like breaking that mold of you have to be with one person for a long, long time. <laughs> so like I said before, a lot of my friends are getting married now, which is just insane. I think there's a lot of pressure to find the one at such a young age. I feel like when you're in your early 20s, when you're in college, you really should be exploring who you are and figuring out who you are and what you like, what you don't like, what you want, what you don't want. And that also involves like dating. <laughs> I give props to people who have been in long relationships who totally know that they're with the person they're gonna marry. But for me, it's more of an exploration kind of thing. So when you're dating in college and you have an interest in a girl or a guy, first of all, when you wanna go out on a date with someone, you should ask them regardless of if you're a girl or guy, cause like who the F cares? Like this is 2016. If you wanna go out on a date with someone, tell them that. If you like someone, tell them that. If you find someone super attractive and you just wanna get to know them or you just wanna be friends with them, tell them that. Cause like Jesus, they're not gonna know if you don't tell them. Okay, rant over. So you have an interest in a girl or a guy and then you're like, I wanna go on a date with you. And I just wanna like see what's up, kinda test the waters. See where this goes. Um, keep it casual. Like keep it really like low expectations. Like you're not expecting them to be the one that sweeps you off your feet. You're not expecting them to be the most romantic, magical person ever. It's just a casual like, oh, let's go get some coffee and let's get to know each other. Also, it is very important that you not only keep your expectations really low, but you have fun. Like <laughs> have fun, laugh a lot and crack jokes and just get to know each other on a really genuine level. I know that nerves come with like the first date or whatever, but nowadays like dating is such a casual thing or talking is such a casual thing that you really shouldn't put that much pressure on it. It's just like, all right, this is the person I wanna know. Yeah, make it fun. You are young and attractive and this is like the prime time to be young and attractive. This is the m youngest and most attractive you'll be in your life. So freaking own it and use this because later you're gonna be old and wrinkly. It's gonna be gross. Be okay with grayness also. Be okay with not really having a label on things. I think there's a lot of pressure to have to say, oh yeah, we're dating or it's exclusive or we're talking, we just like each other or like, oh yeah, we're allowed to date other people, but also we like each other. Like th there's a lot of things it could be because every relationship's different, it's the dynamic, whatever, but don't feel pressure to have to put that label on it. If you just like the person, then that should be fine. Also communicate with the other person. If you've been on multiple dates and you're like, oh, I don't know like what this is, like you should talk to them about it and see where they stand with things. And if it's okay to kiss other people, if it's okay to date other people, if it's okay to tell your parents that you are involved with the person. Really communicate with the other person so you get a feel for where you're at with things. Also, don't rush into things, you know? 
like just let things play out however they play out. This goes along with the don't go in with too many expectations. Don't feel the pressure of like, oh, well, this person has to be the one that I marry. So I guess <laughs> I'm going to make it that way. Dang it. <laughs> no, please do not rush. It's supposed to be fun and exciting. Going along with that side note, you will be heartbroken at some point in your life. Just as a disclaimer, if you haven't already gotten your heart broken, like in high school, it will probably happen in college. You're gonna be involved with another person and then things will not work out the way that you wanted them to. When you do get your heart broken and you are broken up with, with someone that you, you actually really enjoyed or someone you thought that you were gonna be with for a while, don't take it so personally. Um, you're allowed to be butthurt. <laughs> But please don't let it affect how you view yourself. Don't let your whole view of yourself become really negative because this one person didn't see the value in you that you were hoping they would see. Also, you have to understand that everyone is dealing with their own crap. They're all trying to just figure out what the heck they are doing with their life. So go easy on them. Like if they break your heart, be like, well, yeah, that really sucks. And I was really hoping this could go further, but also the guy or girl is trying to figure out who they are. And you are also trying to figure out who you are. And so it's okay that you make mistakes and that you get involved with someone that you were like, nah, this ended up not really working out. That's okay. Then you learn from that and you apply it to the next time that you date somebody. Easier said than done, of course. I know there's a lot of things called emotions that really get in the way, but just keep that in the back of your mind. You don't have to take it so personally or so seriously that when you get heartbroken, your whole world is crushed. Dating in college is also, while it is really fun, and this is the time, what a time. This is the time to really explore what you like, what you don't like in another person, in a significant other. Know that college is also where you learn stuff. <laughs> scholastically so make time for your classes and for studying and for writing your papers or whatever because you're gonna really regret it if you just spend all your time like partying and going out with people and then you're like oops I wasted all my money <laughs> I totally forgot to like you know pursue a career <laughs> that's all I have have fun dating this is the time to have fun that's all I'm saying and remember that you're awesome no matter what bye <laughs>